Hello guys and welcome back. I'm Gamer for fun to you or RPG World, the new YouTube channel, which uh, please remember to subscribe and like if you like the video, of course. Uh, but subscribe is really appreciated because it's a brand new channel. Just created the channel mostly for uh, uploading the, the, the stream Twitch on YouTube. Just want to remain there to have it in future never know okay so today we try this small indie game that i found on uh, on steam have no idea about this game never ever heard about this game corsair legacy it's a demo free on steam on steam everyone can uh, can try it will release 30 january which is tomorrow for me. So, let's have a look. Let's try it. It's good or bad. We'll see. First, what settings we have? Uh, keep take damage. Arcade. Oh. Oh, subtitle, okay. Show quest marker. Okay, graphics. Yes. Let's turn everything on high. Extra memory limit. It's maximum. WSD, F, E, search, dry weapon, C, fire, pistol, Q, T, L, Z. Okay. Need to remember that. Block space. Okay. Let's go. Okay. game. Difficulty level. The choice of difficulty level will affect the artificial intelligence, in-game economy and the availability, availability of hints. For this, who are only interested in story. No, I, I never ever interested in story. Hey, oh. Let's try the Corsair. I have no idea what what is about let's see toward the end I felt nothing but pain we had to hold out just a little longer we didn't have a choice anyway. We just had to. Oh. Hey! It's time to take a stand behind the barricade. Okay. Almost out of bullets. Are you fucking kidding me? Who I need to shoot? Who the, who the hell I need to shoot, man? Okay. C. 
see to switch the melee weapon. Okay, let's go. Man, how the hell to block? Not with... I had known earlier how things would turn out. No, a mountain okay, that's army chapter would two. Made me sign up for this. I finished the first chapter. Are you fucking kidding me? me and my crew <laughs> that's the quickest game in my life. And irrevocably, life is already leaving my body. But I hope I'll have time to tell the story. Maybe it won't fade into oblivion. But what is scripted? Become a good tale that will was meant to to die here for this cinematic. All over the Caribbean. Well, it started with a simple contraband shipment. We needed to transport from Trinidad to Barbados. We were on our way to the rendezvous point. Press R to speed up time by half. Press R again to cancel. Okay. Oh, cannonballs, canister shoot, chain shoot, bombs, fire glass. Shall help. Okay. We need to get the smuggler meeting place. The graphic is decent. Looks looks cool. I didn't play it for a long time a pirate game. I wouldn't to call Catherine Peak the most punctual smuggler, but integrity is rare in our business. Guaranteeing that your partner won't break their word is worth a lot. It's worth noting that she had other strengths that certainly made up for a single flaw. Her ship and our cargo didn't appear on the horizon for a long time. Well, since I had to wait for her with the cargo anyway, I decided to let myself stretch and entertain the crew at the same time. For them, the greatest satisfaction is watching good fights. Thanks to Catherine and her ability to get along with many men, especially over a mug of subtitles don't appear all the time. We knew Looks the rights like. of all the colony's patrols. So we had the right place and we didn't have to fear uninvited guests. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Man, are you fucking kidding me? How how's the oh, space is a block? I won. 
I won. My swordsmanship stood out strongly against the crew. Honestly, that control is a little no bit junky. Them who could stand up to me in a fight one on one. Nevertheless, I always took challenges with enthusiasm. A really interesting Hope will not be the, the final release. The opponent has a numerical advantage. Man, I'm pressing fucking space. Man, the reaction, I press his space and after two seconds, basically, he block. I did pretty well. Should I have practiced mm. with three opponents at once? It, you know what the problem? Once you don't again, feel the, the impact like of your I hit. You did not so see when you hit, basically. You know? Are you fucking kidding me? I was just beginning. Okay, to we finished for chapter two. Ship Already chapter three. <laughs> Not the Catherine Schooner. Soon we'll have the end a screen. Spanish warship patrolling the shores of Trinidad and Tobago. The rendezvous point was chosen wisely. It was a secluded little bay, allowing us to hide a small ship behind a low cliff and lush jungle. And yet, the Spaniards were coming right at us. The situation was beginning to get out of hand. It was not in our plans to go to jail or the noose in San Jose Square. Because we needed time to get out of the bay, we had to give the Spaniards a good head start. So we were forced to accept the fight. A naval battle? Yeah. Man, that blocking is completely broken. Fucking hell.
kill him. Come on, guys. Oh, loot. I love loot. Five. Pick all. Not the best combat ever. Oh, we won! What is that? A ritual? Oh my god. Give me all the loot. Give me all the fucking loot. Inventory. Oh wait. Oh boy. Here is what I like. We serve two person stamina per second for five seconds. Ammunition for firearm. One item you use for each shot. British cutlass. Maximum damage 70, current damage 70. 2.5. How to equip this? Oh, I have equipped already. I patch jerky lockpick. Ooh, that's interesting. Malchus. I this is a two handed weapon. I think you cannot equip on the pistol slot. Two person stamina. I don't see the option to equip, to eat, to anything. Spanish pixel. Accuracy 80%, recharge time in level seconds is the same. Restore 50% of health. You cannot drag here. You have the option only to throw out. I don't want to throw out. I want to equip. Yeah, a little bit weird. Much more damage this uh, this sword than the previous one. 
Aha! Take a look. Skyrim. Look picking. Hey! Spanish pistol. It's the same. You are overweight. Oh man. Uh, by weight. You cannot sort by weight. Are you kidding me? Throw that sword. Battle of Room and Healing Potion. That is That was the Captain Cabin? Oh Here is the Captain. I'm stuck here, man. What the fuck? Man, what the hell I'm playing? He's not dead. Are you kidding me? Wow, 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 wow. What is here? A treasure map. The captain chest. Vessels. I'm overweight again. Throw away. What?
So this is what I'm withdraw all cargo. Okay. The ship was left without the captain. Sting her? Yes. Straight to the bottom. We postponed our date with the San Jose news. The patrol ship went straight to the bottom. However, our ship could not emerge victorious without damage. The Spanish cannonballs left our schooner with many holes. They had to be patched up as soon as possible. I would not have dared to take the ship in such a condition out into the open sea. So I ordered my crew to drop the anchor off the coast. It was necessary to start cutting timber quickly. I did not stay on the ship and went ashore, thinking that my presence would speed up the repair process. I was not mistaken. What is here? Crap! Can I kill him? Kill him! Kill him! I cannot withdraw the weapon. Hey, my man. The chief mate. Captain, you're just in time. As you can see, you guys have already started cutting. But there is not much suitable wood on the beach. It is, I see a lot of wood. A couple of sailors were out looking for good wood for repair. They just go, got back. Did you find anything? Not quite. I said that when deep into the jungle, arrows come one after another. Oh oh. We think it's a local tribe. The archers there are obviously not bad and probably deliberately didn't aim at the guys themselves. Ah, they didn't want to kill. Strange. They are trying to push back but not create conflict. Maybe we can negotiate with them. Of course, it's better not to go in with weapons. Save it for when I'm gone. It's up to you, Captain, but be careful. The sailors say a lot of things about the aborigines, and they don't talk about negotiation. Don't swear they witnessed their atrocity. Uh... Yeah, they will give them medicine. Time control. Come on, guys. Work. Keep working. Hello! Tribe leader, Avoneko. Would you think we will not shoot you for uh, come to us and our pale face? Answer quickly. We can come to an agreement. Let my man go into the jungle and chop wood. We don't need a confrontation. What do you want in return? Uh... Ha, a 
red and gold beast. You fight the red gold beast. Honey pale face. The beast. Chain iron. The beast long center stick in his hand and brought one in wagons. The beast keep much uh, big than yours. And I have not even speak this carefully rogue blade. Mm. So, <laughs> you know what Spanish swords look like? Can you tell the difference? We recently defeated the Spanish Spaniards. So we need wood to repair the ship. We have spoils including weapons. Okay. If you not lie, your ship will steer the beast further. My man will have even help. Basic. Welcome back, Captain. We are afraid the Aborigine we're gonna do something nasty. How it going? Uh... Repair the weapons. I managed to convince the local tribe not only to not hinder the cutting, but also to help with it, which significantly accelerated the work. We quickly loaded everything we needed onto the ship and continued the repairs on it. Another possible patrol was the last thing we needed at that time. Alas, the problems did not end there. There was no stopping the whispering in the crew. Everyone here realized that the Spaniards were coming right at us for a reason. They knew exactly where to look. I didn't believe that Catherine Peak was involved here, but the crew didn't share that opinion. And why should they? They didn't know everything I knew. Fortunately, her schooner appeared on the horizon. Catherine looked worried. She was in a hurry to warn us of the danger, but she didn't make it in time. As it turned out, one of her sailors had been caught in a sortie in San Jose. He seemed to have been the one who told us about the future encounter with the smuggling exchange. As soon as Catherine heard of the capture, she immediately headed toward us. Smugglers are not well liked, considering that local traders and trading companies regularly lose money because of us. But only the governor of the local colony has declared a true war. Well, my to-do list now included the search for a new nook for our businesses in the Trinidad. Catherine said that she had not had time to load the goods because she was in a hurry, but she immediately added that she had something better instead. Information about the imminent arrival of a Spanish ship, the Santa Daniela, with some extremely valuable goods. Mm. Catherine had the good fortune to get one lonely young man from the Port Authority drunk. The thought of Catherine? Wow. <laughs> piracy made me feel sick, but the crew made their position clear. In these circumstances, when we were left without cargo to deliver, we had to look for another way to cover the losses. Agreeing that the situation was indeed not a good one, I gave the order to send the ship to a convenient position. We waited, and then, with the rays of the rising sun, the tops of the masts appeared on the horizon. The plan of action was agreed upon. Catherine and her men were to immobilize the target by firing bar shots at the sails and rigging. We were to approach the Santa Daniela, thin out the crew with a few canister shots. There was little use for it from a great distance. And board the ship. Good strategy. 
If you need to damage the hull of the ship, press 1 to use cannonball, press 4 to use bombs. Bombs do more damage but have a shorter range. Come on, I cannot control, man. Stop the ship! Full speed ahead! I'm pressing the... Oh, can I reloading? It's too long to reload this fucking cannon, man. No, 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 go away, go away, go away! Starboard is ready to fire! Stop the ship right now! Are you fucking kidding me, man? Oh my gosh! What the fuck are you doing? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Man. Prepare the grappling hook. Fucking hell. Now even the naval battle it's carry too much again man you don't have a sword button are you kidding
Okay, where I need to go? Ah, they are more here. Fuck off. Give me just a potion. Yeah, of course it's a victory. the captain here no the same chest the same places Oh! You are dead, motherfucker. Give it a healing potion. Hospital of sword. What you have here? A chest. Pesos. Turned the captured ship upside down, but found no valuable cargo. The approximate sums for the tobacco and coffee we found, which soon found their way into our hold, were equal to the price of the repairs. Catherine stubbornly refused to believe that her information was wrong, continuing her search. The search was successful, which was a surprise to both of us. We soon found a secret compartment in the captain's cabin, where a letter to the governor of San mm. Jose had been stashed. We read it immediately, breaking the seal. The message, authored by the governor of Maracaibo, announced the arrival of two Spanish ships laden with gold to be transported to the Old World. Ooh. Due to the uh, acute situation on the archipelago, the fleet simply could not allocate the ships for the convoy to the Old World. But no one would send gold without protection through a pirate-infested region. It was decided to escort the cargo ships as far as the Atlantic Ocean. Considering that interception there is virtually impossible, this was not a bad decision. 
provided, of course, that no one would find out about the shipment before the deadline. Having waited until the Spanish gold was unprotected but had not entered the ocean, Catherine's eyes shone brighter and brighter with each line read. The anticipation of imminent riches was burning inside of her. I could tell that her excitement, along with her belief in easy profits, infected me as well. Now, going back to that... Can we have a boy with rate, Catherine? I could not say what <clears> won <throat> me over more. The Spanish gold, or the look with which Catherine asked me to help her without any words. So I agreed to take part in this adventure. There was plenty of time to prepare, so we decided to divide up the duties. Catherine went to replenish the crew and get us more muskets. It was up to me to prepare the guns and equipment. I ordered the crew to keep in Barbados. I knew very well where I could get everything I needed for the expedition. The recruitment of the new men for the boarding party was not to be a problem either. Thank you for trying out the demo. Okay. So. Thoughts. Opinion. Actually good or bad? Honestly, more bad than good. In this state, uh, I really hope they will not release the game on this state but i'm sure not because it's 0 0.3 build what uh, we played now that demo that is on steam now so i'm sure will be improvement but the problem is how good will be that improvement first the combat the combat it's very junky very junky it's horrible honestly the graphic it's not ugly, but not wow, nothing special. It's just another game. I'm talking about the graphics. The whole the naval combat is junky as well. And this is this need to be honestly, this needs to be the, the main point of the game because it's a pirate game. Fighting with ships. I don't know to to control an easy way to control the, the cannons, to see the the range of the cannon, to need more. You know what I mean? Need more. It's so fucking best basic. Very, very basic. I'm very curious how uh, we'll release the game on which state, because what is now will be a big Hey. Thank you very much guys for staying here. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy a little bit. If you do that, please subscribe and give a like to my brand new YouTube channel. Okay, and see you next time.